This video will show you step-by-step -step how to solve flow rate problems. For example one, the drug Etomidate is administered at an infusion rate of 2 micrograms per kilograms per minute for anesthesia. A total of 0.55 milligrams of the drug is to be administered to a patient weighing 140 pounds. How long would the duration of the infusion be? So we know that it's being infused at a rate of 2 micrograms per kilogram per minute and a 145, 40-pound patient is receiving 0.55 milligrams. So they want to know how long will it take for the infusion? How long will the infusion take? So the first step is to convert pounds to kilograms. So since there's 2 pounds for every kilogram, 140 pounds is 63.6 .6 kilograms. You then use the patient's weight to calculate how many micrograms per minute the patient is receiving. So you just do 63.6 .6 kilograms multiplied by 2 micrograms per kilogram per minute. So every minute the patient is receiving 127.27 micrograms of drug. So then you have to convert milligrams to microgram because the patient receives 0.55 milligrams but the dosing is in micrograms. So you just multiply 0.55 by 1,000 micrograms because every milligram has 1,000 micrograms and that will give you 550 micrograms. So then you divide the total micrograms by the micrograms per minute rate. So the patient received 550 micrograms total and they're receiving 127.27 micrograms per minute. So it will take 4.3 minutes for the patient to receive the 550 micrograms. For example two, they want to know what is the infusion rate in a mls per hour for a heparin drip of 25,000 units per 250ml bag of D5W for a 90 kilogram person with a dose of 15 units per kilogram per hour. Now there is a lot of numbers in here, so it's important to know the significance of each number. So every 250ml bag of D5W has 25,000 units of heparin. A 90 kilogram patient needs to get 15 units per kilogram per hour. So they want to know how many mLs per hour is the patient going to receive. So first you need to calculate the total amounts of units per hour that the patient is receiving. So since the patient weighs 90 kilograms and they're receiving 15 units per kilogram, in total the patient is receiving 1,350 units per hour. So now you convert the units per hour to mLs per hour by setting up a proportion. So since every 250 mLs of solution contains 25,000 units of heparin, 1,350 units contains 13.5 mLs. So that means every hour the patient is receiving 13.5 mLs of solution.